Okay, so this is a pretty big deal. AMD have just revealed the specs, price, and availability for their upcoming Ryzen Threadripper processors. This is their new high-end enthusiast range of chips that will take on Intel's new X series of processors like the i9-7900X. So let's get straight to it. There's gonna be two processors, the Ryzen Threadripper 1920X and the 1950X, both coming out in early August. The 1920X, the lower end of the two, will have 12 cores, 24 threads, a 3.5 gigahertz base and four gigahertz boost clock speed, and will retail for $799. And the top end 1950X will come with 16 cores, 32 threads, a 3.4 gigahertz base, and four gigahertz boost. How much are we talking about? Well, you already know because I put it in the title, but $999 for their new 16 core processor. That's incredible. Compared to Intel's latest X series of chips, the 10 core i9 costs $999, the same as AMD's new 16 core Threadripper. You know, we are so excited about Ryzen Threadripper. You know, when we really thought about the Threadripper family of products, it was really, how could we get the highest end desktop processor um, to as many people as possible? So both Threadripper chips are unlocked, so they can be overclocked, and they use AMD's new Socket TR4. So if you do fancy yourself a new Threadripper chip, you are also gonna have to go out and buy a new motherboard as well. Now, according to AMD's own benchmarks, both Threadripper chips offer higher performance in Cinebench R15 than Intel's 10-core 7900X, which, if true, is obviously very impressive. Although, of course, I reserve proper judgment until I can test and review them for myself. So is this something you should get excited about? Well, if you're a PC enthusiast, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the benefit of more cores in gaming is fairly limited. Higher clock speeds are more important, which is where Intel still do have an advantage. But if you're a video editor or a CAD designer and you use programs that are optimized for more cores and more threads, this is a big deal, especially at this price, which significantly undercuts Intel. So this competition is always good. Hopefully it'll drive down Intel's prices or at least encourage them to innovate more going forward. I actually use a Ryzen 7 1800X chip in my main PC right now and I'm really impressed with it. So I can't wait to see what these Threadripper chips will be like when I get my hands on them. So let me know what you make of Threadripper. Uh, is it something that you consider upgrading to and should Intel be worried? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more on AMD's Threadripper right here on the Tech Chat. I'm really happy to say that we are absolutely on track for our Ryzen Threadripper launch. Both of these devices will be on shelf in early August, and you'll hear a lot more about this at SIGGRAPH about both Ryzen Threadripper as well as our entire Vega family. So again, I want to take a moment and thank all of our fans. It's really been great, and we look forward to hearing a lot more from you.